score. And these credit cards, you do not require a credit check. So even if you have terrible credit, like trash dumpster fire credit, welcome to Credit Monster. I'm your host, Daquan, here to help you become the master of the Credit Monster. Let's go. If you find this content viable, please do me a favor, like, comment, and share so we can help as many people achieve their financial goals. Now let's get to the information. Okay, y'all. So right now we're going to talk about secure credit cards. In my opinion, these are the top three. Now, the reason why I'm giving you this information is because credit cards are very important to building your credit score and even rebuilding your credit score. And these credit cards, you do not require a credit check. So even if you have terrible credit, like trash dumpster fire credit, you can still get approved for these credit cards. This is really good because it kills three birds with one stone. It gives you a good payment history if you keep these cards in good standing. Also, it affects your utilization rate positively if you don't put too much debt on them and you pay them off every month. And as well as, as long as you have them, is building age of credit, which is the third factor, the third top factor in your credit score building journey. I'm going to give you the top three, in my opinion, the best secure credit cards without a credit check. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So number three is Applied Bank. Now, Applied Bank actually has two options. They have their unsecure option and then they have their secure option. Personally, I would not go with their unsecure option only because the annual fee is, uh, is horrendous and the interest rate is also horrendous and your, your limits will probably be also horrendous, which is horrible. Um, so I will actually go with their gold option, which is their secure option. The minimum security deposit is $200 and then the highest you could pay at that particular time is $1,000. But you could also go ahead and upgrade it to about $5,000. Now, now you do have to put that as a security deposit, which means you get it back if you close the card. But honestly, you wouldn't really want to close the card anytime soon because you want to build that age. You want to build that history with them. You want to, that payment history. That's very important. If you only have $200 to put down on a secure card, that's fine. Just put the $200 down. You'll still be building that payment history. You'll still be building that, that age of credit. But if you have more, if you have more discretionary income, you should be putting a lot of it inside the credit card because you will be building also your utilization as well, which the more more uh, available credit you have, the higher your credit score will go in regards of utilization. Number two secure credit card without a credit check is a Open Skies. Open Skies is uh, one of my personal favorites. Um, a lot of people, uh, they don't really like it. It is a fee hog. The last card was also a fee hog, meaning it doesn't unsecure. However, Open Skies has one of the most comprehensive online uh, platforms where you could just log in and go ahead and make a payment and they let you have multiple cards which is awesome I, I mean I wouldn't suggest that but uh, open skies is, is a real good secure option that doesn't require a credit check now the minimum on that one the minimum security deposit is also two hundred dollars and you could go up to three thousand dollars on that particular card now like i said the more the merrier but really what's more important is that payment history and that age of credit and you know once you have more money available or better credit score you could go ahead and go for the unsecured cards which will be you know monstrous hopefully because we're taming the credit monster moving on to the next card and the number one credit card without a credit check is not actually a credit card but it comes up on your credit report as a credit card because it's an unsecured line of credit technically it's called grain now grain it's awesome because it's unsecure you don't have to put a security deposit down however the biggest con to it is that it's only available to people with an iphone currently now the android people y'all have to wait you have to get on a waiting list and they will email you when they're available for android but right now it's only available for iphone but it's a great platform because it has a very low interest rate if you put it on auto payment and as well as is no security deposit 
all they have to do is use a service called plaid to see your income in your bank account you just log into your bank account and then they'll approve you for up to one thousand dollars as a line of credit now it does report on your credit report as a credit card um which is awesome and it's unsecure so it will boost your credit score most likely okay y'all so y'all know i had to give y'all a little bit of extra sauce on the credit pizza we got two honorable mentions the first honorable mention is self lender now self lender the reason why it's an honorable mention is because you do have to sign up for their credit builder loan first and then after three months you could qualify for their unsecured their um their secure credit card option with the money that you already been paying in the self builder loan and it doesn't require a credit check so that's an honorable mention then we also have tomo now tomo is it would be number one but the only thing about tomo is that you have to get on a waiting list they have a long waiting list and i haven't even got my tomo card yet and i've been waiting for about a few months now but i can't wait to get it because it's phenomenal it uses the service plan just like grain no credit check and with this one you could get approved for up to five thousand dollars unsecured credit card so this is also like a money management system where you'll just run all your bills through your credit cards and just pay it off like a like an American Express. It's, it's technically a charge card, so there's no interest on there, zero interest. It's just like an American Express, and it will keep you disciplined and teach you how to properly use credit cards. If you gotten any value from this video, please don't forget to smash that like button and go ahead and share this with your friends because a lot of people just don't know about these options. And I'm trying to spread the word so we could all have good credit and we could be the masters of the credit monster i'm looking to drop about two to three videos a week keep you informed with all the credit information that you need to become a, a beast in the credit game stay tuned for the rest i'll check y'all later peace